All right, it's hard to face, but it's true. One day, we're all going to kick the bucket. So are your affairs and assets in order? Well, apparently the answer to that question is more complicated than you might think. And here to help explain why is attorney Ofer Shapira, a managing partner at Shapira & Co. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you. So we understand that you had some difficulties dealing with the assets in a pretty high profile case recently. So can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, well, I manage uh, one of Israel's leading law firms in collection of debts uh, and we have a lot of experience in chasing debtors all over the world. We collected huge amounts of money in many countries mm -hmm. but in this case the debtor passed away so we had to investigate where were the assets and his, um, and his money mm -hmm. were, uh, were kept and so we had to uh, refer to Google to try to get access to his Google account that does and, not <laughs> and get like some an information process. yeah and get some information about what happened there. And uh, th then came the problem. Google refused to let us access to that to that Google right. account. Okay. And uh, we had to uh, make a bit of a struggle to get that. So so interesting. So what what steps did you then take to fix the problem from that point? Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, we had uh, we had to go to the court in Israel. We filed a motion to the bankruptcy court asking mm -hmm. to get some access to to that uh, to that wow. account. Um, well, in this case, uh, what Google said was actually uh, quite amazing because we came from a positive point of view of helping the heirs and the, um, and the debtors to collect uh, and, and the, the creditors to get as much money as we can. Yeah. Uh, and Google appeared as like uh, this third party that, get his, uh, that has uh, its well, own independent opinion of not disclosing anything from that account. And what was most, more uh, interesting is that Google said that uh, the only court that it was subject to was the courts in California. Right, where, where it's based. Uh, where, where Google where is based. based. But we all, ke we all keep the world our, uses our, our Google. things yeah. there <laughs> in, in, in the Google Drive or right. Google, Google uh, um, uh, cases and Google uh, and, and Gmail. And we don't think that someday uh, we're necessarily going to be dealing with an American court or this type of situation. Right. No, so, none of us thinks that he could right. that he needs to go to. So to here, here's American my court. question for you: How yeah. how do we protect ourselves from this type of situation in the future? You know, having had this experience, you now know that your clients clearly need to, to watch yeah, out well, for this. In the in the in the in the more narrow sense, we got some, we got uh, through the legal proceeding. We got we got some access to, so we could get some some right. some. Uh, way through and and get some some information to help us. I think in the broader sense, legislators around the world will have to deal with that because you know companies that work, work around the world yeah. have to to uh, uh, keep the laws in the countries they work. And, and well, for and that's ourselves, what what? creating an e will, I was going to say, is, is the other. Right, we're running out of time, so I want yeah, you to tell and probably, us a little bit. Probably, if, we, if, if one wants to, uh, to make sure that his uh, asset, uh, intellectual assets are, yeah. are kept, he has to get an e will, which means that uh, a will saying exactly that he, uh, that he passes the, the access. So I think it's definitely going to open eyes for many of our viewers, it opened my own eyes. Thank you so much. Cool, thanks.